How to use if I defy protocol. Easy tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm giving you a tutorial on if I defy protocol, how to use it and how you can use liquidity protocol, earn interest, borrow assets and build applications using AI. So let's get started. First, what you can do is you can go to AI.com and you will land on this platform right here. AI is a liquidity protocol that allows you to earn interest, borrow assets, and build applications it's an easy to use protocol and we get a lot of different features and tools we have different markets available such as ethereum avalanche then we have polygon arbitrum and more so you can just submit your AI request for a comment, create a snapshot, submit an AI request for improvement, and this is how it works if you want to join the community. So it's actually really easy to use AI. Let's launch app and get into it. Once you get to the website, you just have to click on launch app and then click on agree and it will take you to app.ay.com. Now this is the app and we have to connect a Polygon wallet right here. You can also connect an Avalanche a wallet if you have an Arbitrum wallet and Ethereum wallet as well. So I have connected my MetaMask and my MetaMask has Avalanche network, Polygon network, Ethereum network and Arbitrum network as well. There are other videos on the channel where you can learn how to add these networks to your MetaMask. So I connected my simple MetaMask. If you do not have a MetaMask, you can get one by just going to MetaMask.io and you will get one. If once you have the wallet, you can create multiple networks on it or you can just connect a simple MetaMask which has your Ethereum network. Once the wallet is connected, then you will be able to avail all of the features given here. We have the main dashboard on AVI and I am using Ethereum market right now, but I can switch between different markets. Again, we have Arbitrum, Avalanche, Phantom, Harmony, Optimism and Polygon. So I'm using Ethereum. Here we have the net worth. This is my net worth, my wallet, a net APY. Here I have my supplies and borrows. I do not have borrowed anything yet or supplied anything. So I have these options, you know, empty. Then we have assets to apply and assets to borrow. Now this is the marketplace of Ethereum on AVI protocol. So we have different assets and all of the famous assets are available. Let's check out the supply ones first. We have BUSD, TAI, we have LUSD, TUSD, USTC, AVI, then we have DPI, ENS, MANA, Solana, then we have UNI, Ethereum, WEF and others. So these are all different assets. This is my wallet balance. Then we have API percentage and can be collateral. Now, if that asset can be collateral, you can select this option. And then we have supply option given here and details. If you have a wallet balance, you will be able to supply or borrow really easily. Then we have assets to borrow. Again, we have a list here where we have kind of like the similar assets. You can see we have USDT, uh, DPI, Link, Mana. Then we have uh, Uni. And so we have some of more on our two supply assets rather than to buy right now so you can see again we're getting the available balance api variable and apy stable when it comes to the borrow we have two apis uh, the variable one and the stable one then we have the borrow option and details right here so it's actually really easy to check out the market uh, right here and then check out the supplies and check out the borrows now this is actually the main dashboard and this is where i'm getting information about my wallet like this is my market for ethereum if i go to the market option right here it will actually show me all of the assets available and here i can just scroll down to check an open marketplace available on avi so you can see we have ethereum assets all of these are going to be ethereum assets because we have selected ethereum all right, so we have assets, Binance USD, we have SUSD, USD Coin, AVI, Balancer, DeFi, Engine Coin, Decentraland, SNX, Uniswap, Ethereum, 
Yen dot finance. Before we continue the video, I just want to clarify that this video is not a financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. Trading in crypto and buying assets and selling assets borrowing involve a high degree of risk or whether you can afford to lose money or not. So make sure that you truly understand the AI protocol, all of the different borrowing and supplying processes of crypto, and then you can get started with AVI. This is going to be the AVI protocol tutorial for you guys as a complete beginner on how to use it. That being said, let's continue. So you can see we have Ethereum assets and this is the total market size for the Ethereum, which is 5.63 billion at the time of making this video. The total value is 4.19 billion. The total borrow is 1.45 billion. Then we have our one of the assets. For example, let's use Binance USD. The total supply is 26.71 million. The supply APY is 0.38%. Total borrowed is 7 million. Then we have borrowed API variable and borrowed API stable. It's actually showing me the marketplace according to the borrowed assets. And then we can also go with the supply. If you want to open up any of the assets, just select it and it will open it up and show you all of the graphs that are given. You can see we have Binance USD. This is for this asset right here. All the details. We have Oracle price of $1. Supply info. Now this is a graph that is available and this is the supply APR. Total supply is 26.71 million and I can actually add some details right here according to my wallet balance to check the supply and borrow option. This is the borrow info, the graph and then we have interest rate model which is another line graph for us so that we can get more information so you can get like more information of any of the assets just open it up by clicking on it open it up and then we can get more details and we can borrow and supply really easily this is how the market works let's move on to the stake option on avi and this will show us how to be using avi protocol so you can see we have two types of staking and we have like two options available here we have stake avi and stake abpt first of all let's check this one out so it will show you the staked avi that you have and the claimable avi too you can just cool down to unstake or claim your avi AVI per month and this is going to be the cooldown period. This is the staking APR and max slashing for AVI right here. And then we have ABBT option where what you can do is it's the same. We are getting the cooldown period which is 10 days and AVI per month here. You will be able to add the stake ABBT and claimable A right here. We are getting the maximum slashing here and staking APR2. So here we have these staking options available on AVI protocol. It's actually really easy to use. Then we have the governance and more. In more, we're getting FAQs and Discord and GitHub. So this is our governance here. When we are using AVI protocol, we usually work between our dashboard and the marketplace and then the staking as well. I'll take you back to the dashboard now and we can get more information. If you want to open up any of these, you know, assets, you can just click on it. For example, let's open uh, this one up again. It'll just open it up like this. This is my info because you can see it's saying your Ethereum wallet. It depends on your wallet that you have connected. And right now I have Avalanche Network on my MetaMask. So you need an Avalanche Network, you can see and i can switch between networks as well so here we have like borrow info again and we're getting the graphs if you want to get more information you can actually zoom into the graphs and get more details if you want to check a live token contract this is the option right here and this is the add token to your wallet option this is where you will get the token options here let's go back and this is the marketplace this is the main dashboard on avi protocol avi protocol is really easy to use and allows you to stake and check the marketplaces it has all the assets available to borrow and to supply i hope that i was a big help to you guys and now you know how to use avi protocol don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.